Hello guys, welcome to Insta Electronics. So recently we have been taking apart a lot of power supplies and this one is no different. And this one is a 12 volt power supply. Instead of the regular 5 volt stubs, this time we are taking a look at a 12 volt 1 amp power supply that is designed for modems and other general purpose applications. But this one I mentioned it as designed for modems is because it has these dual male jacks right here that suits to uh, all different kinds of modems so it's made by a company called maxicom it's a relatively cheap model this one is around uh, 250 rupees i believe 100 uh, 200 to 250 rupees i believe and this thing is also a lot older so let's just take this thing apart and see what is inside so it has to start with it has a single color LED it stays on green all the time it does not have any current sense or anything like in a previous video that I showed like uh, in a touch mate video I shall link that down below and up here on the i button you can check that video out that uses a clever little technique to sense the load and to show the charging status so this one will just show an indication whether the output is present or not this thing has no smart functions or anything oops i just dropped my screwdriver let's get this thing out so uh, yeah there it goes so it's made in china it's 12 volts at 1 amps made in china it's the center positive type 1 it's the model kdl 121000 what <laughs> one two triple zero to be precise so uh, let's increase the exposure a little bit yeah maybe it's fine yeah okay fine so let's just take this thing apart and first impressions are really good let's take the uh, cable out and the cable that they are actually using is a little bit thicker you know these cables look a little bit thicker than the cables that are usually found inside the 5 volts power supply so this can handle 1 amps I think because it's a little bit thicker and right away we, if you take a look at the separation both separation between the primary and the secondary side it has good enough separation in fact the closest point right here is around half a centimeter apart so yeah that's really good and uh, the soldering job is really good I'm not seeing any kind of obvious uh, leftover parts terminals like in the previous video so that is the other side of it it is really simple circuit and see this is a one amp transformer and they are actually using a proper uh, rated transistor switching transistor it's a 13007 so it's all the 13003 the 13001 the 13007 they all belong to the same family just the switching current is what different and let's take a look at the input capacitor it's a uh, Kemet is that it made 4.7 microfarad 400 volts capacitor and look at the fuse right there that kind of fuse is actually a re an issue right there because if it blows it's going to shatter the glass and it's actually glass so it's going to shatter pieces all over and it's you know it's much better to use a fuse holder and things like that and it uses the 8050 auxiliary transistor to turn this thing off that looks like a snubber network for the primary side and uh, it uses uh, the octocoupler for feedback and there is no anti-tracking slots uh, but still it has good enough separation and it uses Samsung brand capacitors on the output side and the only thing that we cannot actually test at the moment is the insulation of the transformer but it's going to be something good you know at least I'm not doing it for anything critical but I'm not seeing a dual insulator why okay there it is that's certainly not dual insulated wire it's just regular wires coming from there so basically that is it that's what's inside 12 volt 1 amp power supply looks like it's a fairly good enough power supply look at the soldering job it's it's not 
properly done at that point it can tear off at any moment so that's the that's the issue with blood free soldering this you have to uh, add some flex to get a good job of that so what else it, it has the proper suppression capacity right there across those points right there and yeah basically that's it that's that's a really good enough power supply right there so anyways thanks for watching see you in another video